Hello friends, while attending C sharp or Java interviews, you might be getting so many questions on OOPS concept. So here, I am giving an overview of the parent and child relationship and the different scenarios that you can expect in an interview. So I will be creating uh, other videos related to other OOPS concept. So this will be a, a parent and child relationship uh, video. So myself Vineet and welcome to my YouTube channel Techies Hub. So for this uh, demo, I have taken the Visual Studio as the IDE and I have created a console app. So I have two classes, one is the parent class and one is the child class. Okay, so I have two methods, uh, two same, uh, the method with same name in child and the parent class. So uh, when I run the code, if it is in the parent class, it will uh, display as parent method and if it is in the child class, it will show as child method. And I will be using the main method. So we will start with the first scenario like parent parent equal to new parent. That I am creating a uh, object of the parent class which is referencing to the same class. And I will call the test method. So it's like I am creating an object of this parent class and I am calling this test method. So it will print the parent method. So that is as expected. So we will go to the next scenario where we will be creating the child object. Child. Child. Child dot test method one. So if I run the same test case, so what it will be doing? It will be displaying the child method as expected since the test method of the child class it is calling now we will uh, try the third scenario where i have the parent object which is referencing the child class so is it possible so you can see there is a type conversion type conversion error is displaying so yeah this is possible if we extend this child class to the parent so now we are doing inheritance that means the child is inheriting all the properties from the parent but the vice versa is not possible that means the parent cannot inherit all the properties from the child so you can see that i am calling the parent of a child reference since i am creating an object which refers to the child you might be expecting this test method to run but that is not the case even though i am referencing it to this class it will always take the method from the parent class so i can show you that parent dot test method one so if i run this i should get parent method so as expected so uh, another way to show is like i am calling the, i am referencing it to child so this method if i remove it should throw an error but it will not because as i said it will look for the extended class which is the parent class and it is taking the test method from that class itself so that is the third scenario and we will discuss the fourth scenario where i have a child class which is referencing the parent So actually this is not possible because as I have mentioned when we extend a class I can take all the properties from the parent class but the vice versa is not possible that means the parent cannot have all the properties of the child class and because of that this is not possible that is child child is equal to new parent and you can expect this question in uh, some interviews also and consider a scenario where this is a private class so what will happen if I run this scenario? So will it work? No. It will show error message like it is inaccessible due to the protection level. So even though we are in different classes, if we create an object or if we extend it to the parent class, even if the method is private, you cannot access it. So that's all about the scenarios that I could cover in the parent and child relationship uh, case. 
so there will be more videos coming related to oops concept so i will see you in the next video thank you bye